Hello guys, Alex Grampion here, hope you're well. Today I've got the Audi Q3 in the workshop. Uh, so this is 2 litre TDI 2013 model, but I think this video will cover pretty much a lot of 2 litre cars anyway. The TDIs like VWs, Audi Skoda, and Seat and etc. Uh, so apparently this is quite a common issue. Uh, so I'm getting a code P012100, which is throttle body performance. Uh, now this is apparently quite common. There's two ways of fixing this. The cheapest one, which I'm showing you today, is to clean it. Uh, remove it and clean it so hopefully we're going to do that and it'll fix it if not obviously but usually you'll struggle to start the car and obviously the performance is rubbish and that's when you actually need to replace the throttle body that's when it's given up and actually they're not that expensive i'll put the link in the description below if you want to buy one on amazon or etc um so just check obviously your bin and model uh, but yeah the other thing i wanted to introduce you today i don't know why it took me so long to get to it is the emanualonline.com uh, I've downloaded the manual for this, obviously you buy it, it's actually quite affordable. I'm going to put a link in the description below and I'll try and get you a discount as well there. Um, so yeah, it's about 10,000 pages but it includes everything about the car. Obviously different engines as well for the vehicle. Uh, but they've got stuff like maintenance, obviously the basics. You've got the wiring diagrams for everything. You've got repairs, you've got like, issues that you can have, how to remove any bit of the car. There's loads of stuff on there, so I definitely recommend getting it. Obviously, if you've got any other cars, just put your VIN on there. Like I said, the website is in the description below. You get the VIN number in there or model of the car when it comes up with that. Just buy it once, download it as a PDF, and literally there's just so much stuff on there. Uh, so definitely a really handy thing to have. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I've used it, I've read about it, and I'm going to be showing you today how to hopefully save some money and fix this issue. So here we are, as you can see, this is our fault code, P012100, the throttle pedal position sensor switch, A circuit wrench performance, blah, blah, it can be any of them. Uh, so like I said, usually from my research, it's the throttle body that gets dirty and starts clogging up and not moving as it should. Uh, so your car can be in limp mode and said train the engine light obviously will stay on. Uh, so that's what we're going to try and fix today. So to get this throttle body, it's located down there. Um, few engines, um, like I said, two litre TDIs, depending on the year, can be a slightly different place. And if you've got Audi A4, it's obviously located the other way. Um, so yeah, but usually it's on the intake side. Uh, you have to take the cover off, so we're going to get that off. And before you start doing this job as well, I would recommend um, disconnect the battery. So the battery is there, disconnect the negative cable at least uh, before you start unplugging stuff. So obviously just to show you, this is the throttle body. So you've got the control unit there and you've got the plug going to it and there's bolts holding it on there. There's also a bolt holding the dipstick to it. So we're gonna get that out of the way. And yeah, so we're gonna start removing the stuff. So first step, obviously after disconnecting the battery is to unplug it. So you have to push the tab in and it will come off. By pushing the tab in, like pulling it back a little bit and that will come off. There you go, so that's that off. Like I said, there's a little tab that lifts that part there and it slides off. If it's tight, uh, use a bit of WD-40 or something similar, it will help get it off of there. So the next step will be to undo um, this bolt 10 mil that holds the dipstick uh, to the unit and undo that clip as well there so you can take the uh, hose off of there. Uh, that will help obviously. Right, so I'm done 10 mil. That's loose now, it's not attached to it anymore. Uh, use flat blade uh, to undo that clip, so that's all loose on there. Um, so now you can either use the, the screwdriver uh, to pop that off, or just grab hold of it and pull it down so that will come off out of the way. And then you can start undoing the three long bolts that you got there. So just to show you what I've been up to, obviously I removed the hose completely, just to make it easier. You can leave the bottom one there and just move it out of the way. But like I said, flat blade, undo them too. Um, that's the top bit, that's the bottom. Put the glove on there so you can drop anything in there or the bolt doesn't fall into the intake because then it will be a bit of an issue. Um, so I've took um, two bolts out already. The worst ones. Uh, so they torque 30, as you can see there. 
um, quite a long bolt, but they're nice. They're not very tight, so it's fine. I got the last one, I left this one as the last one. Uh, it's the easiest one to get to. So just undo that one. Like I said, the other one's on kind of under it. I'll show you once I take the unit off. And the other one's in the middle coming behind this unit. I do apologize for the bad focus. But I'm taking the last one out and I'm pretty sure there'll be a gasket as well. So you can see that's the last one out. And I'll just give it a wiggle and that should come off. There you go. Bloody hell. As you can see, <laughs> yeah, I can see what the problem is. That is just so much carbon on there. No wonder he's giving me the full code. Look at that. That's supposed to be free in there and nice and shiny as well. Um, just while we're here, don't lose this gasket. You're going to need it. But bloody hell, look at that. That's really clogged up in there. So that's where we're getting our full code from. And as you can see, guys, so three bolts. Uh, so that's it was located there. So one was there, the other one was there, and this is the last one that we removed. So as you can see, just to make it easier for you. And this is the part number of my unit in case you want it. And like I said, link will be in the description below. But yeah, I think um, looking at this, we're definitely going to be able to get away um, with this one just by cleaning it. Because, I mean, that's quite obvious there. So as you can see, there's so much crap in there. Uh, they wouldn't even shut properly. Uh, it's obviously fully open now, but like I said, they ain't gonna shut because there's so much build up on there. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I'm glad this actually is the case, because in this case, um, you should be able just to clean it up and obviously fix it, and that's not gonna cost you a lot of money. All you need to buy, and I definitely recommend it, is a spray, a EGR and carb cleaner. Uh, so this will get rid of your carbon, etc. Uh, you can get a tape, uh, just to tape up the contact so no rubbish gets in there obviously you can get a wire brush uh, something small enough to get in there screwdriver flat blade screwdriver um, or you can get a kit like this they're going to put in the description below it's still a handy kit to have for everything else as well and it's really cheap as well on the tenner um, so you got lots of adapters we're going to use this one on the drill just to make it easier for you um, and like i say scrape the first um, worst bit with the flat blade screwdriver and once we scrape most of it off, we're gonna spray it and start cleaning it. And obviously it should look nice and shiny in the end. I will try and remove the seal before we're gonna start spraying stuff in there. We can reuse it, it's not too bad. Just make sure you don't lose it. As you can see, look at the amount of crap already come out of there. So I'm just gonna put some tape on the plug. Yeah, that's good. We can spray some stuff on there. We already removed most of it with the screwdriver, but this will help that that cleans off the stuff like that straight away. Gonna try and make it look nice and new. Right, so here we are guys. Nice and shiny. I mean, I know it's not brand new, but it's looking clean. And as you can see, that's moving all the way now. It's shutting properly and going back as well. So that's brilliant. I took the, obviously, the tape that I had around the plug off as well. I definitely recommend getting one of them. Uh, we'll put that, like I said, link in the description below as well. So get one of them. Uh, no, just don't forget, obviously, to put the seal back in there. Make sure it's nice and clean in there so it seals back again so it got no air leaks or etc. So here we are. It locates in there and it holds it in, obviously, so it's not going to just fall out. And um, yeah, at this stage, we're ready to bolt it back on and obviously plug everything back in, uh, restore the vehicle to how it was, and clear the fault code. So the unit is on there guys, I've bolted on the deep stick as well, so it's all on there, the bolts are tight, uh, you don't need to do them too much because they're only going into plastic, um, so it's around 10 newton meters, but I'll double check the torque settings and uh, at least it's all in the description below. Uh, so I'm glad I kept the glove on there because there was a bit of carbon bits falling out as I was removing it. 
so that stopped it going into the intake. So I'm going to take the glove off and obviously install uh, my hose on there. Obviously, if you left it on there, you just have to locate it and do it up. Uh, but yeah, once the hose is on there, all you have to do is plug it in and clear the fault code. Right, so I've connected everything back up. It's all done up. The hose is on. It's plugged in. Obviously, at this stage, you need to connect the battery. And in some cases, you might connect the battery and the fault code might not even be there anymore because it's been disconnected for like half an hour. Uh, obviously, if you've been cleaning it. Uh, now, if they do say uh, you can use the diagnostic tool and obviously tell the system they had a new or reset the value of the throttle body because it's been cleaned now. But to be honest, once you disconnect the battery for that long, once you start driving the car, it soon adjusts itself anyway. But in case you still have any issues, I would obviously recommend on newer models maybe um, reset the value on the throttle body just to pretend they had a new one. Obviously now that it's moving all 100%. Um, and yeah, at this stage, like I said, if you got the diagnostic tool and you haven't unplugged the battery, do clear the fault code. And I'm pretty sure in more than 90% of the cases, with that amount of carbon buildup, this would have fixed your problem and saved you some money. And like I said, guys, e-money online is really handy. Like I said, not just for this issue, but for a lot of stuff on your car. Like I said, the information is just endless on there. Definitely recommend for the price, especially. The link is in the description below. I will get you a discount code, hopefully, as well. And all the tools and all the stuff I use today, like I said, it probably costs you this job. You get a can of cleaner and a couple of tools. It costs you 20 quid max, but if you got it already, then it's just your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, find it helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.